Hello YouTube, it's me Bergie and I'm here with another video. Now today I'm going to do a book haul, which I know is not something I do very often because I usually don't buy very many books. But when I come home from school, I usually come with or find myself at home with a whole pile of books. Now this is not as big as my pile this time last year, but I do have a good 10 plus books. So. Yeah, let's just get into this book haul. So, the first book that I have, my mom actually bought for me, so I really have no idea what it's about. And it is The Extraordinary Voyage of Pythias the Greek by Barry Cunliffe. Now, my mom got this for me because I love Greek mythology and anything having to do with classics. So, yeah, she got me this, and I'm hoping that I will enjoy it. I probably will, but yeah, so I have another <laughs> classic book to add to my my classic collection. So the other books I have gotten and collected since I've been traveling, so this would be late June, early July, so that's why I'm kind of just lumping it into a July haul. But yeah, so all of these books I've pretty much gotten while I was traveling, except for one book. So I'm not gonna go into any order really, but yeah, I'll show you what I've gotten. So first off, it's kind of sad because I did something bad. I have now three more copies of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or the Sorcerer's Stone, whichever way you wanna call it. So of course, first off, I got the paperback 20th anniversary edition of Harry Potter. I'm a Slytherin, so of course I got it in this nice green, completely green Slytherin book copy. But then I decided to also get the hard copy because look at these pages. It has the silver of Slytherin and just the hard copy is nice. I didn't even look at the cover. Oh, I was hoping there would be something nice and cool on the cover, but there's not. But still, it is a beautiful book, so I got it. Now, the third edition I have, I got in Greek. My family on my mom's side speaks Greek, and I'll be living, most likely, with um, my yaya, who is Greek. Which is, that is a Greek word for grandma, so I'll be living with her. And I figured that reading Harry Potter in Greek would be a great way to start learning how to speak that language. I'm hoping it works, but if not, I have it in Greek, the Greek edition, and if worse comes to worse, I can give it to my yaya so she can read and read one of my favorite books of all time. So yeah, I have three new editions of Harry Potter to add to this extremely huge edition of Harry Potter, this collection of Harry Potter books and stuff. So the next pile of books all have to do with Scotland. So, if you guys don't know, I've been studying at university in Scotland for the past four years and I finally graduated, so I kind of was feeling sentimental about Scotland and wanted to get some things to remember it by and to learn more about the history. So first up, I got Scotland, the Autobiography, new edition edited by Rosemary Goring. And this has 2,000 years of Scottish history by those who saw it happen. So I really, even though I've lived there for so long, I really do not know much about Scottish history. So I figured, even though I left Scotland now, that I should learn more about the country that I lived in for four years. As well, I got A History of Scotland by Neil Oliver. Again, I wanted just to learn more about the place I lived in and I figured this would be a good way to do it and also it's just a pretty book. Same with this one, it has the Scottish flag on it so both of these are great beautiful books that will hopefully help me in learning more about the country that I had lived in and left. <laughs> Which is really sad, I know I'm laughing but I am crying on the inside that I left Scotland. Now the third book is Scottish Smiths and Legends by... Oh, who's it by? Oh, selected by Mo Rosemary Gray. So, as you know, I love mythology. Usually I focus on Greek and ancient Roman mythology, but I figured that I should also learn some about the Scottish myths. And yeah, I just love mythology in general, so this is a good way, I think, to learn about some Scottish myths and stuff. So, 
yeah, I picked that up. Now the other two books that I bought, or two other books that I bought are connected to my love for classics yet again. The first book I got is The Greek Myth Stories of the Greek Gods and Heroes Vividly Retold by Robin Waterfield. I bought this while I was in Bath. Oh, and you can see the price on it. It was really cheap. No, that's not coming off. Anyway, so yeah, I bought this while I was in Bath, which has the Roman bath, since it's um, place name. And I just figured it would be a great place to get a Greek mythology book. I'm pretty sure every, well, not every place, but most of the places I've been to, especially in the UK, I have gotten some kind of Greek mythology related book. So just figured I should add to the collection because why not? And with this being so cheap, it was a good bargain. The other book I got while I was in Greece, well, in Santorini, so it is Tales of the Greek Heroes by Roger Lancelin Green. And this is just so beautiful. Oh my god, I just, I knew when I saw it that I had to have it. And, which is really cool, is I bought this while I was in Santorini, and they have this one little bookstore. I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like. But it is kind of one of those pictures of bookstores that you find everywhere and like any list that says the most beautiful bookstores in the world. So I was there and they actually stamp the inside to prove that you've been there. So I was really happy to get that as well. Just to, not only for the Greek mythology aspect, but also for the connection to Santorini. And I mean, I felt like I should get some kind of Greek mythology book while I was in Greece. It only makes sense. The other four books are kind of a mishmash of stuff. So going along with the history books, I have The Shortest History of Europe by John Hurst. I just felt like this would be an interesting thing. I want to get more into history, so I figured this would be a nice overview of all the history of Europe. The second book I have is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Now I have her other book, um, The Goldfinch. I have not read it yet, but I wanted to read this first because I'm pretty sure this was written first. And I wanted to read this because it has to do with classic students, and I was a classic student, so <laughs> I just really wanted to get this book to see how it would play off of the classic student aspect of it. The next book I got was, again, while I was in Santorini, and it's just a little coloring, classical Greece coloring postcard book. And yeah, I just wanted another <laughs> coloring book because I am now collecting them. So this is the second one that I've actually gotten when I was in Greece. And again, this was when I was in Santorini, I think. So this will hold memories as well as just being a nice coloring book. Now the final book I bought was a book that I bought when I came back home because I did not have it and I needed it. <laughs> and it is Camp Half-Blood Confidential, Your Real Guide to the Demigod Training Camp, which it is a an official Rick Riordan companion book and it's from Percy Jackson. So I really just collect all of the Percy Jackson books. I'm pretty sure I have all of the companion novels. I might be missing one or two, but I'm pretty sure I have all of them. And I just love Rick Riordan, so just, I, I just want all of his books. <laughs> so I bought this when I saw it. So yeah, those are all of the books that I've bought since June. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul and let me know what books you bought and again let me know any books that you recommend for me to read i am open to any suggestions and would be very glad to have any suggestions at all but yeah so that was my book haul and i'll see you guys next time bye